Hi, my name is Dr. Lester Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. And today we're going to talk about sinus infections or sinusitis. Um, this is for Westwood Mansfield Pediatric patients. If you are in, from another practice, we ask that you follow the advice of your physicians there, um, um, not necessarily what we advise our patients. Today, sinusitis is one of the commonest and most overdiagnosed infections in pediatrics. First of all, keep this in mind. 40% of sinus infections resolve on their own with no antibiotic. It's like ear infections that within 48 hours, 80% of them will resolve on, our, on their own with no antibiotic. In addition, um, what, we, what we look at with sinusitis is the length of time. Usually, sinus infections are um, longer than 14 to 21 days of a continuous cold. Doesn't matter what the color of, of the mucus is, it's actually the length of time. I ask you to look at our video on colds to learn that sometimes colds overlap a lot and that people get mis mixed diagnosed with sinus infections when in fact it's been two colds back to back. That is often the case with children under three who are in uh, preschool or daycare. Now, sinusitis, as I said before, are treated sometimes waiting, watchful waiting, sometimes nasal flushing um, with the saline washes that you can get neti pots and things at, at the pharmacy, and then other times we need to put the kids on antibiotics. Now, sinus infections that affect the quality of life of kids, like miss five or more days of school in a year, are the ones that need to be more aggressively treated. Occasionally on physicals, I'll find somebody has missed five to 10 days of school because of sinus infections, and we need to explore more what that means. For example, somebody who has recurrent sinusitis can have nasal allergies. Interestingly enough, I've had cases where we put kids on something like Claritin, Zyrtec, or Allegra, and a nasal spray like fluticasone, and the next year they come back on their checkup and they have not missed a single day of school because all of those mucous membranes are opened up and allowed to drain the mucus in the nose and, it, and with control of allergies you don't end up needing an antibiotic for a sinus infection. The other thing is if somebody snores. Somebody's a big snorer, for example, um, sometimes has trouble waking in the morning or multiple awakenings at night Sometimes that can be a cause of sinus infections and sometimes people need to have their adenoids removed. Um, finally, another thing is, and much, much rare, is an anatomical abnormality in the drainage system in the sinuses. Those sometimes require surgery. That is a very small number of kids. And another group sometimes that keeps getting recurrent sinusitis um, um, may be a group where your, the immune system is low. There's called hypogammaglobulinemia. This is a low IgG, immunoglobulin type G, which is the particular immu immunoglobulin that helps reduce infections in us. And for some people, those can be low, particularly kids under four. Sometimes that can be low. And sometimes that means that, they, um, that kids need to be put on antibiotics uh, more aggressively and also um, uh, for longer periods of time, especially if it affects the quality of life of the child and the parent. Hypogammaglobulinemic kids, for example, the, one of the markers is a parent coming in is, my child is so sick all the time, I'm about ready to lose my job. And that's because the quality of their work life is seriously affected by their child's illness. And that's when we explore sometimes the immune system, particularly around issues around sinusitis. So these are the simple facts about sinus infections to keep about. I strongly urge you look at the section on, on um, colds, URIs, upper respiratory infections, because then you can help to delineate if a cold becomes too prolonged. And remember, 40% of sinus infections resolve on their own. And you can try neti pots with salt water in advance of calling us and seeing how that works as well. Of course, all our efforts are to reduce the use of antibiotics when it's not necessary. When it is necessary, and if you're not sure if it is or isn't, absolutely call us and we're happy to walk you through. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Lester Hartman at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. Have a good day.